Yes, Kim, some actress has a complaint to make and uh, we are going to look at that particular article posted by the Daily Sun. So this article was worth reading. And so they are saying former actress uh, says do not pollute the rivers. This is what the article says. The former act is pleading with people who go to rivers to pray and perform rituals to leave them, uh, to stop, <laughs> to not leave them dirty, okay? Don't leave the rivers. Deep. Whenever people went to communicate with their ancestors, they should take everything they went with and throw it in the bin. <laughs> throw it in the bin and take everything they went with. Leave the rivers unscarred, okay? In simple terms, says in a, in a video on social media, the popular actress from the SABC One television show says, I am, I am, I'm humbling myself. I am not fighting. <laughs> we are tired of this, guys. The sisters is asking, sisters is asking people to behave themselves when they are there doing rituals. I think it's a it's a nice it's a nice request. <laughs> okay, as she reads further, she's. I just want to ask, who came with this idea that when we go to the river, we leave everything we came with there. We leave bottles, we leave plastics, everything. We are ruining things for ourselves. So her, her plea here is that people are getting to the rivers with all kinds of junk with all kinds of things. And the things that they go there with, they are living there. Okay. <laughs> now, let us analyze here. What is it that people are going to the rivers with that they can come back with? Do you expect them to bring that blood that they spilled over there, which is causing the pollution, right? Do you expect those that to come back also? Um, this idea of ritual, what does it mean? What, what does it sim, uh, symbolize? You see, I think this goes to some of the subjects that we talked about when I was with uh, Sister Portia Mohao. You'll remember we talked about this idea of keep, keeping the principles, keeping the principles of the occult power pure. The dark world, integrity is something. I don't know if you understand. Mm -mm. You understand? Mm. Let me go. The integrity of the power from which you're getting it. Yeah. You have to keep it in its pure form. I yeah. get you. Yeah, and you have, you lose yours. Mm. You, you, I don't know if you, you lose Yeah, yours. not the integrity of the, for those people that are not, for those, not, not integrity that people give you. Mm -hmm. I get you. It's mm -hmm. the integrity, the purity of that wickedness yeah. that you're presenting. Yes. yes. I don't know, you might remember that thing. I know that in that interview, I didn't behave myself properly. Because I should have let her fully explain it. When I said I understood it, I explained it dumbed down, but not the process. I didn't explain the process. I just explained the dumbed down idea. And I hope it was clear then. Uh, when she said um, the occult power, you have to keep it in its pure form. As raw evil. So meaning you can't dilute and keep it halfway. And you can't let it be shown diluted. You're gonna, if you're showing it, you're showing it as, as raw evil as it is. If you notice, a lot of Sang Sangomas, when they're out there talking about um, all these things that they do against people, which is contrary to people, they talk about it out in the open. They're keeping the power and the evil raw, authentic, as you might actually put it so. Now, when, a person, when these people are going to the river and they're doing these uh, rituals, and they are performing these rituals over at the waters. What do you think that means? To what I just said right now. To what effect do you think this means? Something must be alive, die, translate over into pleasing a certain spirit. So how do you keep it clean in the process of that translation that I just spoke about there? You see, if you're thinking about the principle, if you're thinking about the principle, you will understand why they will never keep these places without pollution. In order for it to stay at the core of its principle, they will leave it dirty. They will leave it filthy because something died there. 
something was pleased there. And whatever it was, whether in filth or in purity, something died there. Which is why when you read Hebrews, it says, those that offer in this, mod, in this period, they offer unto idols, not unto God. Even though that think they are doing it to God. No, they are no longer doing it to God. God has denied that form. So when she's pleading, you know, keep it pure, keep it... This is the thing that I would preach. <laughs> Why? What do you think is happening in that transition? How do they mediate that transition of something dying, blood being spilled, animals being sacrificed? How do they... How do they mediate that part? Things being burnt. It's like going to the, to the Hindus and telling them not to pollute things. Well, you see them clearly throwing roses, throwing all kinds of things into the water. Because in their version, something must translate. And the dark world, mm. integrity is something. I don't know if you understand. Mm -mm. You understand? Mm. Let me go. The integrity of the power from which you're getting it. Yeah. You have to keep it in its pure form. I yeah. get you. Yeah, and you have you lose yours. Mm. You, you, I don't know if you you lose. Yeah, yours. not the integrity of the for those people that are not for those not not integrity that people give you. Mm -hmm. I get you. It's mm -hmm. the integrity, the purity of that wickedness yeah. that you're presenting. Yes. yes. As it translates in order to make sense for their spirits, the spirit that they actually are worshipping, that must take place. So how do you then convince the traditionalists who need affirmation from fallen spirits, okay, from fallen angels, who need affirmation from spirits which have been... How do you get them to do translation. Remember, we made a live stream when we spoke about how it is an illegal conversation that they are actually entering into. We made a video about that. If you check on the channel, how do you expect them to make it right? You can't make it right. Why? The entire thing that they are about to get into, it's not, a, it's not spiritually allowed. From a God's perspective, it's not allowed. And so how do they do it? They hack the system. They go back door. By how? By creating a translation. By creating a new frequency. Which is a forbidden frequency, by the way. So you can't have that. You can't have people creating a frequency in order to communicate to those that they're not supposed to. You read Luke chapter number 15. You can see that communication is restricted. But if they are doing that, if they are creating a frequency of communication, they're going to create something that has to translate. There, there has to be that thing that translates. And I hope this makes it clear. What she's asking for, it's not going to get. Why? Because something must translate. Something must be burned. Something must die. They must be filled somewhere. Because that's how they create that frequency. But it's actually added to the daily Christian commentary videos. If those that think they are sacrificing to God... Only if they thought, if they think they are sacrificing to God, only not knowing that they sacrifice anti-demons.